This seems sketch. What's sketch? It's a choice that I made to try it out. Damn. I can't try something out. Just because you wouldn't try it, what makes you think I won't? It's your girl Joy back with another finger. Yes, I am in the car. I haven't done any videos in a car in a while besides trying to fix up my bed, which is much better thanks to my guy Diamond. <laughs> so today I don't know where I'm gonna get this up. I'm gonna try to get it up today, which means I'm still skipping over videos. The last couple of weeks of school have been really intense still trying to get this set up this is supposed to be a trash can but i don't think i'll use it as a trash can so i'm not sure what i'm going to use it for so it's been interesting the last couple of weeks at school have been quite intense trying to get grades in listen to students presentations and all that fun stuff and it's just it was intense and then, uh, I don't know, I, I was very emotional this week. I don't have my face on, so say what you're going to say. Why? Say what you're going to say, boo. Okay? It takes it takes a little work. Not not a lot of work, but a little work. Okay? A little effort to, to, to be looking glamorous, okay? Or halfway decent, okay? So, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I really don't have much time. But I was determined to put this thing together today and so far so good so i put it together i did have to break out the instructions and so if you're interested in getting one of these so far so good i got it from walmart and i'm this is my first time using it so i am testing it out and so it's just been intense i've been a little emotional i don't know if it's my you know time of the month or something like that but i know with the kids leaving <laughs> I don't know, it's just, you know, it's just sad for me. I know um, one of my daughters, she's in town, but she's babysitting. And I'm going to um, visit um, one of our friends and we may stay at their house. I'm going to see that. But I need to shower because I'm supposed to meet up with some friends later today. And then I need to go to storage, get a change of clothes, drop off clothes. Because, you know, I've had this stuff in you know, in the car for a week. I need to get a board for my car to balance out my little dresser. And some people still have their opinions about the car life. Um, I don't have reservations about the car life, but sometimes I wonder if I did it too soon, you know, for when the girls come home for holidays and stuff. Um, financially, it hasn't been um, a change. It hasn't because the bills just shifted. And um, I made a few poor choices, that's life. So I'm trying to recover from that. And as far as um, too soon, meaning like when the girls come home for holidays, but if you really think about it, you know, outside of summertime and one of my daughters, she's gone for the entire summer. My son, he has moved on to another state. So then there's Bobby and she didn't come home for Thanksgiving. She'll be home, I think for a week for Christmas so and then outside of summer you know depending on where she gets a job that's where she'll be and for the summer we did get a hotel so there was some um, people calling me a liar and what I say <clears throat> I'm not gonna say who but what I'm going to say you could call me a lot of things you can even call me crazy if you want because my scenario doesn't fit the life that you would choose. And I wanted to experience it, for goodness sakes. I wanted to experience car life. Honestly, I wanted to experience RV living is what I wanted to experience. And I felt like with all the kids gone, being an empty nest, there was the best opportunity to try, the best time to try. But instead of investing into an RV which is huge, you know, small RV, which is huge. And then I didn't like the lifestyle. Then what? I'm stuck. So I wanted to experience it first. So I chose to do, I switched my car with my daughter's car and I gutted this car, this big, huge, 
SUV. Everything was gutted out of the car. So it is quite comfy. I'm like sitting on, so I'm not asleep right now. So I'm sitting on my sofa, honey. I'm spread out. Yes. And got the little bling. I don't know what she for yet. I don't got my teeth in it either, y'all. <laughs> so I'm trying to stick to this side, okay? <laughs> or else I have to do like this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna be talking about me talking about with her side tooth. <laughs> with her side tooth that. So, and they was calling me a liar. Words, exact words, liar. Talking about I don't live in a car. Then um, why would I be in um a hotel? Bro, make it make sense. If I had a place to live, why would I be renting a hotel? And I'm local to hang out with my children for holiday break and it's not like it's a glamorous hotel it, like an extended stay why would i do that i would be at my home right make it make sense bro so i i don't know if i said this already but sometimes i re repeat myself maybe it's just my age but you could call me a lot of things but a liar is not one you could call me crazy i'll i'll accept that you can call me irresponsible i'll even take that you can call me unhinged. I'll take that too. Oh, wait, I need to take my medicine. So you can call me a lot of things. I'll, I'll accept that. But a liar? What I want to lie for? For what? For what? There's so many people on social media who portray this glamorous, wonderful life. They post all the wonderful, wonderful things. Some of it, most of it may be true. But they never post the dark side to, to life. You're going to have ups. You're going to have downs. You're going to have times where it's just quiet. It's just level. So I wouldn't say this is an up time or a down time. What I say this period is, is a time of exploring and experimenting. And some people say, like, oh, this seems sketch. What's sketch? It's a choice that I made to try it out. Damn. I can't try something out. Just because you wouldn't try it, what makes you think I won't? I'm trying it. God damn. People don't try things. Step outside their comfort zone. Is it the uh, the thing that most people in society would do? No. But the car living, RV living, schoolie living, bus converting, home living is becoming more and more popular every day. And just because you won't do it, it's not something you're interested in. That's okay. Just because what I have on my menu is not appeasing to you, so it makes it wrong? It makes me a liar? It makes me crazy? It makes me irresponsible? Why? It's getting tired. It's really getting tired. Now, you're going to think I'm even crazier because now I got another idea in my head that I'm about to try. And I ain't saying squat about it. I love to use other language, but you know other people watch my stuff. So I do try to keep it PG. Yes, I do. So I'm uh, I'm just not going to say anything. I'm I'm just going to do it. Then be like, oh, yeah, she tried. She did that too. Yes, I tried it. If I don't like it, I can uh, rewind it. But at least I tried it. It's just like food. Oh, no, I don't try anything. I don't like to try new things. That's you. You losing out on, on life experiences. And that's how you learn and you grow. You grow from experiences. You grow and learn from mistakes. You grow and learn from, like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, that was a poor thing to do. I, now I got to live with the consequences of that and get back on my feet. And yes, I've done that too. And that's why I'm in a situation now where not where I'm living, but where I made some poor decisions and now I'm living with the consequences of that. Yes, that I am. And it's kicking my tail. So you, you go through life afraid of trying new things. Do I still have a lot of clothes and all a lot of my things that I still love to get rid of? Yes. I want to downsize. I was tired of things, but I kind of still have the things. But we're not talking about that right now. I'm, I'm working on it. But with this next move I make, those things will be gone. The next move I make, and hopefully it'll, it'll be sometime before the end of 2024.
And yeah, and I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing because people are so people are so quick to judge when you do things that you wouldn't do. They they just want to judge everything, throw you under the bus, call you this, call you irresponsible, call you crazy. All right, call me whatever you want. I know who I am. Is this a living situation? Something like I already said that. I know I did. Could you know I repeat myself? That uh, a lot of people would do no. People get comfortable and living in the stable place, whatever. And even when I talked about when um, someone tried to break in my car, I, I really still don't believe it, they were crazy. <laughs> this person was just crazy and having a bad day. Um, it was exciting. It was it, it was scary and it was exciting at the same time. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going through that phase where I'm just bored and, and, and excitement is just something that's exciting for me. Like even for Thanksgiving, I promise you, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that video now that I have two weeks off. I still gotta finish that course. Lord help, Lord help my poor brain. I still gotta finish that GT course. <laughs> so anyway, um, I ventured out by myself. Something that most people won't do. I was actually the only customer in there, but I was like, "Well, I'm gonna sit here. I'm I'm just gonna go." I'm not scared to try new things. I'm not scared. Now, I will tell you, homegirl not getting on no uh, roller coasters. <laughs> but I have tried it. That's how I know I don't like it. I tried it a couple of times. I don't like them. I don't like that feeling it gives me. No, no. So, I tried it, though. I tried it. Can't say I didn't. I tried the haunted houses. I tried the scary houses. <laughs> yeah, I would do that again. <laughs> But you guys got to be careful. You have to allow people to live and do things and try things, even make their mistakes without judging them. Because I guarantee you, your life ain't so perfect. So you instantly want to call them a liar. You instantly want to say, this is sketch. Uh, she crazy. She stupid. She irresponsible. Oh, okay. That, that's how you feel. Okay, that's on you. Okay. Okay. But... I know I had this experience and I, I still have it in the back of my mind that I'm going to write <laughs> a book about my life because it's been quite interesting. It's been interesting. I've shared parts of my story with um, thousands of um, youth and this will just add to the story, add to the craziness up in my head. I'm going to tell this lady I, I'm not going to be on time. I have a hard time being on time. And I'm supposed to meet up with some friends later. So I have to go to storage. I have to shower. And it got hot up in here. I had to bring my little fan out. And, okay, so I'm all over the place. But I, I had to get that out. It's just, it's just annoying. And like I said before, call me a lot of things. But a liar is not one of them. What am I lie for? For, for what? There's enough people in this world who, who are liars, who want to uh, portray their lives like it's so grand all the time because that's all they post. You don't post the, the, the dark side, do you? You don't post your husband cheating on you or you cheating on him or, or whatever. You don't stole something. You don't post any of that. You don't post that your kids curse you out, don't listen to you. Your kids don't respect you. You don't post any of that. Or whatever, or whatever it is. I'm 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 just going down the list. Or whatever it could be. You don't post that stuff though. But that's one side. One thing I can say. I am blessed. Blessed. My kids have never disrespected me. Thank you Jesus. Because I truly believe God gives you as much as you can handle. And I will be in jail. I, I will be in jail. He knew that I would be a single mother. He knew I had to have the strength that I didn't know I had to have to uplift my children, to be an example for my children, and to be everything that I could be. I remember I was, um, and with my educational career, went up and down, around a corner, down a block. It took me a minute. It took me a minute. But I was had all three children. We left New York and moved to Texas with no friends, no family, didn't know anybody. That should tell you right there, I ain't scared to try stuff. I ain't know a soul in Texas. Nobody. I picked my children up, scooped them up, honey, and I was like, okay, we're going to try. 
bought a house, hadn't seen, bought a house, had the house built. I had a couple of houses now, so I know that anything is possible. I've been down and I've been up. I got a house, lost a house. Been down in the trenches, a domestic abuse survivor, been back up. Got me another house. I kind of lost that one too, but the thing is, I know what I'm capable of doing and accomplishing. So I know how to get another house. If I wanted that, at this moment in my life, I don't. I don't. So, I forgot what I was going to say. I guess I just, ooh, I don't know. Y'all call me. And this dang bleeding, girly stuff is getting on my nerves. Doctor gave me stuff to stop the girly stuff. But it ain't working. The first time it kind of did. But it's not working now. Ooh. Now, that's the one thing. I'm not a big fan of the girly stuff in the car. It's not, it's not, it's not cute. I mean, it's not bad. And it's like when you do something for a long time, it becomes a habit. So, like, my space, I'm like, I got a lot of room in here. I'm comfy. Oh, and I wanted to try. I wanted to see. I wanted to test how cold can it be or how cold can it get outside for me to tap out. You know what I'm saying? Because I have, I, I've had about three or four offers. They was like, Joy, if it gets too cold. Bring your tail here. Here. <laughs> and where I park is a very, very quiet block. And um, I park in, in front of someone's home and they're always watching me and stuff like that. So it's like, I, I do feel safe here. It's very, very quiet. And the lady was like, well, you know, you know, I don't go upstairs in my house, but I'm starting to clean it out and stuff like that. So if it gets really, really cold, you know, you, you have, you could come in. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. So I believe one day it got down to maybe high 20s, low, 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 low 30s or high 20s. And I was like, okay, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. And I don't have a heat in here. But what I do have, I do have, a, um, I did bring my weighted blanket from storage. I mean, it's heavy and that has made a huge difference. And look, don't look on this side, y'all. I don't know where they are right now. Oh, I think I slid them off. I slid them off in the, in, in the middle of the night. And my, my bed is not made up. Oh. So... When Clinton used to live with me, I, I think I did more for Clinton when, you know, when the kids were younger, around the same age. I think I did more for Clinton than I did for the girls. Because Clinton was my wild child. Wild meaning hyper, not disrespectful. Hyper, hyper, hyper. And it's like I put more effort into Clinton because I think he was the child who needed it the most. Does that make sense? And stuff I couldn't afford. So I saved up money and I wanted him to have these experiences. <laughs> Maybe so hope he can channel it in a certain way. This is when he was younger. So I saved the money for him to go on a trip to New York um, with, with the school. They went to New York, Boston. They went certain places. They visited the World Trade Center. He said he even cried. So I think he'll remember that. So I bought him um, these thick, thick, thick socks. I mean, thick, because, you know, he went when it was cold, and he never wore them. So, I went to storage the other day, and I found the socks. So, these socks right here, super, super thick. I don't know what these are called. What are they called? Wolverine, maybe? I don't know. I think that's what it said. And so, I've had these for maybe 15 years, and they were just unused. I brought these suckers out, and... I actually kicked these off in the middle of the night last night. Now it's hot outside. I could go outside with a t-shirt. So this Texas weather, it be bugging y'all. And so um, I put those on. And then when it got really cold, I it wasn't bad. So one night it was cold. I was like, dang, I should put some socks on. But I ain't feel like it up. And I, I, I go to the bathroom a lot. For number one, I go to the bathroom a lot. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I don't know. And so that's all I'm like, ooh, I got to get up. But in the morning time when I'm up, it doesn't bother me. I like the cold. 
it's like <clears throat> and when i was in um a house or an apartment in the mornings i would get ice and i would do an ice bath all over my face so it kind of gives me that same vibe and it was not bad as i thought it was going to be so when i didn't have the socks i was like oh my little feet right and so the next day i took my daily storage and i was lucky that i had not i don't know stuff is all over the place in that storage and I, they, these just popped out so it was probably meant for me to find these little socks that i kicked off in the middle of the night but this weighted blanket baby she cute she cute she a lifesaver look she heavy y'all she has she's heavy and so i think the weighted blanket has been great it's been great oh and then my cousin bless her sweetheart so i'm not close with a lot of people in my family so i know one of my friends are like well why don't you ask such and such for the big mistake that i made that i'm paying for that i'm dealing with the consequences she's like well why don't you ask a family member i said nah i'm not i'm not in a situation to do that right and my cousin was like um we we touch base either through facebook here and there and she was like i'm saving money i'm putting money aside it's to bring joy in <laughs> it's to bring joy inside <laughs> you know fun she says we can get you you know airbnb i said no she wanted to give me an apartment for six months i'm like no it defeats the purpose of what i wanted to experience let me experience it even though it's not what you would do i just got it maybe you learn no i'm like that was for the birds y'all i'm back in a place it wasn't for me let, let me just try it let me fall on my face let me fall let me let me let me see how stupid i am let me figure that out you can't figure that out for me so i think that's what it is because it's such an unconventional um move to living in your car living in your um uh, suv or rv it's not something that people normally do but it is becoming very very popular and i want to experience the minimalist life of i just feel like i'm just bogged down with things and i still feel that way because of the storage and so and then people are like you have so many clothes i'm like yeah i, I just keep my clothes not like i buy a lot of clothes I ju i've just had my clothes for years and years and years and i actually wear them so that's the thing with the clothes. So I gotta tell this lady, I'm gonna be late. We got we, we gotta push this back another hour. Cause I gotta shower. I gotta go shower. And I haven't been working out. Just haven't. I leave school so late. And so I get there maybe an hour and twenty minutes before the gym closes. I'll do the steam room and take extra long showers. I love the steam room. Um, it's the eucalyptus steam room. And, uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna make it. And I wanted to take a nap. So it's kind of late right now. And I'm just gonna do that and then I'll change my clothes when I get to my storage because I'm meeting with my friends later, so I'll put something on that could take me through the rest of the day. But like I said before, I am trying something new. And like I said, with the kids, and I was thinking about it, I was like, they're really not home that long, besides summertime. And Sydney, one of my, my youngest daughter, her summer's already booked. She, she loves this camping place, and she's already hired for next summer. So, and Bobby, who knows where she'll end up getting a job it could be in another state so it's like i have I, I invest in a place with you know room for sydney room for bobby or they share whatever it is and then i'm the only one there so i didn't really think that being an empty nester would affect me i really didn't because you know i've done the single mom thing for so many years i was just tired and I was like, mm -mm, bye. They they going about their life, bye. But it's it it it's starting to hit me now. So I was like, so with this next move, I think it's needed. So and I've I've talked about it before, but not with fidelity, you know. So I just think I'm gonna do it, and I'm not gonna talk about it until it's it's time for me to talk about it because the judgment people have something to say about that too 
And is it something that you would do? Probably not. And remember, I don't have family here. So it's like, and another thing, I know I'm all over the place. The whole car thing or the RV living was to travel. It's different when you work because you're stationary. And me, I have not branched out to traveling yet. Um, although that would, I was thinking of the summer, but with Bobby, my other daughter being here last summer, I, and she needed a place to stay. So I stayed, so I didn't travel, which was fine. Cause I'll do anything, you know, for my children that I can. And so for this summer, I don't know what her plans are, but I know she'll want to work and I'll be on summer break. So I don't know. But I do know I don't want to be in a position where she working and she keeping all her coin. No, you're going to have to help out, sis. You're going to have to help. Mm -mm. You're going to have to help. So I don't know, but I, 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 I think I need to travel to really experience um, this. Because that's why I, I went into car living to travel, to have that freedom. But it is a little different when you work. So you don't, I don't get that try. I don't have that flexibility unless it's the summertime. And I did summer school. All right. This video is long. Ooh, child. I've been on here 26 minutes. Child. Let me go put a face on because it is starting to get hot up in here. And I need to put my eyelashes on, child. Yes. So last night, um, you know, school ended. I wanted something good to eat. And it, it was just okay. So I went to a Thai restaurant and got some dish. It was it was just okay. I mean I could have hooked something up in the in this car and, and had a better 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 meal. So today I probably be able to cook something tonight. So I'm not sure if I'll stay at my friend's um tonight. So I'm going to get all the details and stuff. So I'm gonna tell her <laughs> Cause I do have to go to storage, but I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to shower first, but I believe me. And so I will miss my students. I do love them. Oh, and another thing I think that's really pushing me towards my next goal is, um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy sixth grade. And I don't think I'll be able to have all sixth grade going into the new year. I don't think I'm interested. Now that I've had a taste of sixth grade, it is a big difference between the energy between sixth grade, seventh grade. The energy is different. And I prefer the energy of sixth grade. Seventh grade is like they're trying to, they're still trying to find themselves. They're not as fun. They're a little, hmm. Sixth grade, they be all in. Every last one of them. Every last one. They be all in. <laughs> They just be all in. They're like my little riders. They could get a little chatty sometimes. But I just love them to pieces. Even this one little boy irks my nerves. I look at him, but he's so cute. I'm like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, okay, Miss Basil. Okay. <laughs> he's so he's cute, but I'm like, stop. <laughs> I just love them. And uh, I got something else to say, but I'll wait to another video because if you still here, <laughs> you probably like, when's she going to be finished? Because she all over the place. You know, the, her notes are scattered. <laughs> My brain is scattered. How about that? Okay. But, you know, I'm going to do that other video um, today. Get that off my chest because that has given me an attitude and it has added to my decision for my next move. So being an empty nester actually being kind of bored um my whole life has been school and my students i, st I leave school 9 30 10 o'clock every day every day so i eat before i leave school so there's really no reason for me to me cooking up meals but i'm gonna try to change that for 2024 but honestly it doesn't bother me and then sometimes i do take a break or sometimes i'm doing something i don't know my little brain be all over the place sometimes i'm not always focused <laughs> I'm like, what did I do all the time? I don't know. I've been trying to do it. And, you know, so that, um, dealing with parents, uh, parents who have issues with me, parents who, um, 
I feel as though administration um, is not 100% supportive of me and like have my back. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit of everything. So I think, ooh, just thinking about it makes me a little um, emotional. So I think that has added to my decision to go forward with my next move. So we'll see what happens. Something else for you. People to say I'm crazy, I'm stupid, I'm irresponsible, I'm this. I, I,